guys, let's hear a big round of applause for Noel Murphy. I'm Noel, I'm an addict alcoholic, codependent, adult child, addict, alcoholic, codependent, adult children, and a dysfunctional hostage relationship with a Vietnamese child of post-war economic destabilization. I'll be signing court cards after. I love being up here. Outside of the deposition, this is the closest thing I've ever been listening to. <laughs> Certainly not in my home. <laughs> I've been focusing on eating the past couple decades. That's working. Okay. <laughs> Even though I could capsize it at home. Never had so many newcomers ask me where the nearest donut shop is or how long the microwave sign up. <laughs> I came to malnourished. Now I look like the later Elvis's pastry chef. <laughs> Welcome. Santa Cruz. We have a program that will help facility with no users. We've got the highest rents in the country. Thank God for SLEs. Four guys sitting around in their dirty underwear in a tiny room, sweating feverishly, studying a big book, cutting costs all the way down to a mere few grand each of them. Santa Cruz rents are so high, the AA Fellowship moves more often than a hooker with gingivitis. So how do you identify yourself? Alcoholic, addict, transgender, double winner, garbage pail kid, dope fiend, fiends of all kind, glue huffers and aftershave sippers and bath salt chewers, drink for one and all. No matter what you are, if you got an islanded, blitz bombed, or blasted, buzzed, fucked up, honked, hammered, inebriated, inoculated, or intoxicated, juice loop, piss, roasted, frostified, slammed, slosh, shit face, skunked, trash, toad, toasted, wasted, warped, whacked, zonked, or zapped. Welcome home. <laughs> my first drink was a shot of gasoline that was also my first cigarette, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm a recovery Catholic. Priest never touched me because I was very sensitive. This was my first rejection. <laughs> Later, I realized the Catholics taught me everything I needed to know about rejecting myself better than anyone else ever could. Alcohol, drugs gave me wings and then took away the sky. The sky's an easy thing to hide when you're loaded enough to masturbate on the roof of a police car. <laughs> Program gave me life and it took away my fucking hair. Most of my Irish family uh, came to this country. They drank themselves to death. I was supposed to do the same thing. I had a lot to tie up to. <laughs> and there's new people in the room. They say the newcomer is the most important to the person in the room according to themselves. <laughs> we will lay down our lives for you, and all we want in return is the 13th step on the hood of a used car you bought from us. <laughs> I go to hell now. I'm a double winner. Heaven on this place where you drink miracle Grow, expecting the other person to bloom. <laughs> They're grabbing them eating schedules and come sit over by me. They say we addicts pull fault over mouse turds. We do. We do. We make a big deal out of nothing for drama and a momentary feeling of power and control over others. There's no point finding that. The definition of an alcoholic is somebody who lights their own hair on fire and puts it out with a hammer. <laughs> the definition of an addict is someone who will steal your wallet and help you look for it. I'm going to give you some advice for the newcomers in the world. Never use a fellowship bathroom, ever. <laughs> stay late and talk to somebody who really fucked up. And you'll see how many others stay late to talk to you. <laughs> a big cloud is a state of bliss jealously unattainable by jealous dinosaur white knuckle sobriety, so ride that cloud, motherfucker! Don't be a 90 day wonder if you can do it in 60. <laughs> do not wait a year to date. Do wait a bit to do the steps. Because nobody's going to tell you it's almost impossible to get an erection while you're actually working the steps. It comes back, though. 
30 day inch, 60 day inch, 90 day inch. So you gotta fuck the program. That's my big joke. Now, my advice to these people is get a sponsor who's controlling and abusive because they usually say yes the first time. And then sharing. Sharing sure, in a meeting for the first time, if your story seems boring, spice it up with some lies so people will like you more. And give yourself a peppy program name. Because if you don't, some program out of those shamans gonna get you one and you won't like it. Those are my for people. Come back! Right? The best thing to do is put the word grateful right at the beginning of your name. When you introduce yourself, I'm grateful to you. I'm grateful to you. It'll stick no matter how much of a douchebag you are. And it'll be far harder for him to Troy Road and name you something like, We don't fucking want you here at Walter. Right? Oh, and make sure to Facebook all the details of your recovery. Because no one says traditions like broadcasting and four step. Then the A back in the 90s. So my favorite portion of the meeting, I call it overtime. That's when the chairperson, who in this case has never read the book, can't stop talking until they sure they've ended with an ultimate, profound, life changing piece of wisdom. It goes a little like this Just because there's no easy and soft way does not mean you have to masturbate and say it. And first things first, will be at a time. Keep it simple before you pick up the first STD. Because AA is in the phone book listed right there before a tow truck. That's true. And when you're pointing a finger at there's three pointing back at Obama. Ha! <laughs> if you're not using it, you gotta give it back. Life on life's terms, whether you live on this planet or another. And if you pursue your sobriety with half the zeal as you pursue getting loaded, your new credit score will never let you down. <laughs> it's time for me to get out of here, but my grandmother was sober and she shared this with me and I want to share this with you. This guy's walking down the street. He falls into a hole and the walls are so steep he can't get out. And the doctor passes by and the guy says, hey you, can you help me out? And the doctor writes a prescription, throws it down the hole and moves on. And then a priest walks by, and the guy says, Hey, Father, go down in this hole. Can you help me out? And the priest writes down a prayer. He throws it down in the hole, and he moves out. And then Fred walks by. Hey, Seamus, it's me. Can you help me out? And Seamus jumps down in the hole, and our guy says, Are you stupid? Now we're both down here. And Seamus says, Yeah, but I've been down here before, and I know a way out. Blessings to you all. Thank you.